Heidi ho freaks on YouTube, Tolstoy Kopkapski here, and um, I've got a surprise for you, more normal videos, oh boy, um, because today I received in the mail another something something from one of my good disciples playable movies, um, Jonesy always uses a lot of tape so I can kind of recognize it from a mile away, he sent a second package and that means that right now he's better than all of you, um, <laughs> okay, so now you're going to try to watch me open this, and I'm probably going to put uh, some cute music or something like that. Ready? Ready? And go! <laughs> Success! Alright, let's see if I can close this razor blade, I think, without killing myself. Hooray! Okay, let's open her up. Aha! Take a look at the letter. Okay, a letter that came with it read, Tolstoy. Well, here's my second donation. It's the Intellivision second edition plug-and-play games thingy. Sorry it's the second edition. I'm pretty sure the first edition is no longer in production. I hope this will make a good video because I don't know anything about the Intellivision or Mattel Electronics for that matter. However, I hope you enjoy it and I hope this time you don't encounter any cyber terrorists. Yes, we encountered cyber terrorists last time. Let's see, um, playable movies, S. Jones. Um, P.S. Sorry for shipping it in such a large box. This was the only one I could find at work. Yeah, hey, that's cool. Um, cool, okay. So it's going to be Intellivision. Now, what I know about the Intellivision, what you believe, or what I've said is my opinion about the Intellivision, is that, well, it had better graphics, processing, sound, everything better than Atari, except for, well, it lacked some of the, what's the word, uh, good game, uh, uh, good, uh, some of the good game, basically all the good games that were made for the Atari were made by, um, Activision, who split into a later company that started from Atari. Anyway, and also, of course, that it had very, very bad controls. But you can see all of that in um, those new videos done by the Angry Video Game Nerd on GameTrailers.com. Uh, Double Vision, he's called it. I don't really care for his Music Man's Kyle Justin's version of uh, uh, a classic rock song, but not bad. All right, let's take a look inside the box. No, oh, that felt pretty light. Wow, in the box and everything. Okay, an Intellivision's video game second edition system. Well, hot damn! Alright, let's take a look at it from my point of view. Okay. So what do we got here? It's by Intellivision, not ColecoVision. Intellivision, everything was Vision back then. Um, video game system, second edition. Okay, that reads, New Monsters, Weapons, Challenges. Actually, that sounds kind of like, uh, well, maybe an add-on for uh, Dungeons & Dragons game. Okay, it's a plug-and-play TV game system. What would happen to these? I mean, you see a lot of them, but they, I don't know, they seem like a novel idea, but they really didn't take off as much. It's kind of weird, though, but, um, I don't know, you'd think you'd see them at kids' birthday parties more. Okay, the games that it comes with it are Frog Bog, Deadly Discs, Crown of Kings, Space Armada 2, uh, Astro Smash 2, May Shoot, Tennis, Space Gunner, Long Drive Golf, and Beach Volleyball. Ten built-in games. Look at the back of the box. Oh boy, you have a huge book of information right here, which... See, I could re uh, read that, but I don't think I will. Oh, the precaution. Do not mix new and old batteries. Yeah, we've heard that one before. Mmm, four AA batteries into the battery compartment. You know what? It looks a lot like... Uh, well, we'll get into that when I open it up. Um, and you're ready to play. Okay. Well, let's open it up then, eh? Put you back where you belong. I hope you can like, kind of see all this. Uh, you know, I've been trying to use a new camera angle so you can kind of get my face. Somebody asked me why I'm putting my face in videos now. It's like... Eh, dude, ch 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 changes the shit changes, it all changes. I don't know, um, I just decided to be different all of a sudden. Oh crap, more tape. Ooh. My brother bought this for me at a at a uh, uh, at the Walmart, uh, and uh, it's very, very sharp, and I've already sliced myself with something like it, with the, something that it was packaged with. Although, I saw one of these at work, it actually the same brand and everything, and I'm like, that's actually handy, because the razors that we have at work for cutting open boxes, they're so shifty the way that you try to get them in and get them out that I almost sliced my hand open like three times. Okay, bring up the box. Mm. Oh, and it seems to be packaged much like the... Ow! I cut myself on the box! Well, I almost did. This um, seems to be packaged like uh, the ColecoVision was. As you can see, instructions! Alright, um, let's see. It comes with Intellivision, let's see, 10 video game system manual. Um, basically, it tells you to hook it up to the TV, all written in English, nicely translated. Talks about the games. I think I'll be able to figure out the games. Probably. Probably. Okay, and. Wow, uh, like a. Uh, what's the word? A troubleshooting. 
paper. Wow, that is and a toll-free number for U.S. toll-free customer number. Advent, Iowa. Audiovox, Avanti. Daywood, Fisher. Fujitsu, Funai. GE, Hitachi, JVC. These are brands. I'm completely confused. But, on with the review. And then you have this uh, uh, packaged inside of a thing that looks like this. Oh, Lord. Probably shouldn't have done it that heavy, but... Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, the game system. Mmm. Well, uh, of course, you're going to say it's very, 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 very reminiscent of, um, here, I'm going to pull an Ashens on you. This looks almost like a, um, uh, a Super Nintendo pad that, uh, met Mr., you know, uh, a Sega slash, or Sega Genesis slash Master System pad, and they, um, well, um, mm, let's see, two shoulder buttons, the two shoulder buttons click well enough, you got a reset button, clicks well enough, uh, right here you have start and select, they feel very nice, um, See, the D-pad feels better than, obviously better than the ColecoVision one, but I'm going to have to get into some gameplay to get into that to see how it works. And, of course, you've got your X, Y, A, B, which click fairly nice. Oh, and, of course, a little power on, power off button, Ooh, it's a, which feels a little stiff, but actually quite sturdy. Some of those ones, like, you're afraid you're going to break it. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see this, but it almost looks like a little kind of, the, the D-pad is raised out of the, yeah. Thingy. And then on the back you have a slot for Technosource. These are the guys who did those little crappy LCD things that I reviewed. Alright, so this is insane. There's a bolt on the on the door that has a little slide thing. Who in God's... <sighs> <laughs> some batteries in this, I'm going to try and plug it into my HDTV, and then we're going to look at some games. What do you want? <laughs> 